Okay, so Salesforce AI, right? Specifically, this AI specialist credential. Yeah. Seems like everyone's talking about it. Yeah, it's definitely generating some buzz. And you wouldn't be here if you weren't maybe thinking about, you know, adding that to your resume. For sure. Which, by the way, congrats on even thinking about it because it's not easy. This is a big deal. That's a big one. So good news is we've done the deep dive. We've gone through all the guides, the training, all that. And we're here to break it down for you. Absolutely. We're going to give you all the insights, everything you need to know about this credential. So not AI hype. This is how to actually use AI within Salesforce. Exactly. This is about, you know, getting down to the practical stuff, making sales and service smarter, more efficient, all that. Music to any business's ears. Right? Absolutely. So I'm curious, before we even get into like the exam and all that, what's got you most interested in Salesforce getting into the AI game? It's kind of a big deal, right? It is a big deal. And I think for me, the most interesting thing is how it really levels the playing field. You know, you don't have to be this like data scientist to unlock some of these really powerful tools. Yeah. And, you know, this credential is really designed for people who are already familiar with Salesforce. Okay. So your admins, developers, architects, those folks. And it's really about them being able to add, you know, AI to their skill set. It's like taking what you already know and giving it that extra, you know, turbocharge. Exactly. <laughs> like that turbocharge. Yeah. But you're right. It's not like when we were going through the material, it didn't feel like, oh, I need to go back to school for like, you know, four years to become a data scientist. Yeah, not at all. It was really about understanding what AI can do within Salesforce. Yeah. And, you know, how to use the tools like, you know, Einstein AI yeah. and, you know, Copilot Builder, those kinds of things. OK, so let's break it down a little bit. Yeah. Because you said Copilot Builder. You said Einstein AI. Yeah. These are things that people might have heard thrown around. Yeah. But what does it actually mean? Yeah. So think of it this way. You know, you're using AI to, for example, write personalized emails to leads or. OK you know, to predict which deals are going to close or maybe even generate like knowledge articles for customer service. Got it. So these are all things that, you know, would normally take a lot of time and brain power. Right. But AI can kind of like automate it and make it way more efficient. So it's all about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. Exactly. I like it. So you mentioned something earlier. You said, and this is something that stood out to me in the materials too. You said crafting effective prompts. Yes. Okay. That sounds... I don't know, maybe a little intimidating. It's a little bit, yeah, it can be. Break that down for us. So think of a prompt as like an instruction that you give to the AI. Okay. So with, for example, prompt builder, Okay. you're defining what you want the AI to do, right? So it's kind of like, imagine, you know, writing a recipe. Yeah. But in this case, the dish is like, you know, actionable insights or personalized customer experiences. Oh, I like that. Right. Those kinds of things that, you know, help businesses thrive. So it's like you're giving it the ingredients and saying, give me something good. Exactly. Exactly. And effective. Okay. That's where the art comes in. Exactly. You've got to be specific. You've got to be clear. And you've got to understand things like grounding. Grounding. Yeah. So grounding is like setting up these guardrails for your AI. Oh, OK. Right. You're making sure that it stays on topic, that it generates responses that are relevant, that are accurate. So it doesn't go off on some wild tangent. Exactly. You don't want your AI going rogue, right? Definitely not. That's actually something that stood out to me when we were going through the exam guide. There was this real emphasis on not just using AI effectively, but also using it responsibly. Oh, absolutely. Like they really wanted to hit that home. 100%. And I think that's where this whole concept of the Einstein trust layer comes in, mm -hmm. which sounds... I don't know, very official. It does, right? It sounds very important. <laughs> it's like Salesforce's version of like AI body armor, like protecting yeah. you from, from the risks. You got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. So like think of it as those guardrails that are built into Salesforce's AI, you know, to make sure things stay ethical, uh, to keep things secure. Right. We're talking like data privacy, right? bias detection, like all the things that can be a problem with AI, right? Yeah, right, totally, totally. They're not messing around here. They're taking this seriously. Which makes sense, though, right? Especially like, you know, you see the headlines, AI gone rogue. Exactly, exactly. So it seems like Salesforce is baking that, like, that responsibility. Right into the platform. Right into their AI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And right into this credential. 100%. So you're not just like learning the tools, but learning how to use them for good, which I like. Absolutely. And they, you know, they're serious about this. Like a whole section of the exam is about this. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 
So this isn't just like a, oh, by the way, you should be ethical. This is like, no, this is part of, you know, what you need to know. You can get tested on this. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. So ethical AI, check. Yes. But let's talk exam specifics. Like what's the format? Okay, sure. How much time do we have? Yeah. What are they actually going to ask me about, mm -hmm. you know? put me on a hot seat for. All right, so buckle up, 60 multiple choice questions. Okay. 105 minutes on the clock, and here's the kicker. Okay, the kicker. Registration fee, free. Free? Free. Seriously? Yeah. That's unheard of for these kinds of certifications. I know, right? Salesforce is really, you know, they're trying to lower that barrier to entry. Yeah, they want you to get in there. Yeah. They want you to get certified. Yeah, they do. Oh. Okay. Oh, Barry. That. But here's the catch. Retakes, not free. <laughs> <laughs> so Salesforce is being strategic here, right? They're saying like, hey, come on in. The water's fine, but be prepared to swim. Okay, I see what they're doing there. I like it. I like it. So swim. All right. So to swim in the right direction, what's the exam actually got to cover? Like what are the main topics? So they give you a really good exam outline. Okay. It breaks down the key topics, tells you how much each one matters for the exam so you can really prioritize your study time. Okay, so it's like having that little... I don't want to say cheat sheet, right? But you know, it's like here's here are the things you need to know. Exactly. Focus on these. Absolutely. So we talked about Einstein trust layer. That's a big one. Big one. What else is on the menu? So a big chunk of it is what they call generative AI uh, in CRM applications. Okay, generative AI CRM applications. That sounds. It's a mouthful. It's a mouthful, but it sounds important. It's super important, especially if you're, you know. If you're in sales, service, marketing. Exactly. Like this is where it gets really, really interesting because it's all about. You know, how do you use AI to supercharge those operations? Okay, yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. So we're talking, you know, using AI to write those emails to leads, to predict deals, even generate knowledge articles like we were saying. Got it, got it. Like yeah. those tasks that used to take, you know, forever, AI can do them, you know, in a fraction of the time. So we're talking like Einstein for sales. Einstein for sales. Einstein for service. Einstein for service, yep. Those are the things that people are going to be actually using. Absolutely. And, you know, it's not just about, you know, doing things faster. It's about doing them better. Right. It's about that, like, next level, you know? Okay, so Einstein for sales, Einstein for service. These are tools built into Salesforce. Exactly. You can leverage the power of AI. Right there. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sold, I'm sold. What else? Well, remember how we were talking about prompt builder? Yeah, crafting those effective prompts. Exactly. Well, guess what? There's a whole section on the exam about that. Of course, of course, yeah. Right. So they want you to know not just how to use prompt builder, but when to use it. What are the different, you know, techniques you can use? Right, because like any tool, right? Yeah, if yeah. you don't know how to use it properly, exactly, it's not going to do you much good. It's like, you know, having a hammer but not knowing how to, you know, hit the nail. Exactly. You're going to, you know, you're going to mess things up. You're going to hurt yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, so prompt builder. Yeah. And then another big one, Einstein Copilot. Ah, yes. Copilot, your AI yeah. sidekick, right? Like within Salesforce. Exactly. Exactly. So Copilot is like, you know, having this brilliant assistant okay. who's always there yeah. to analyze data, to surface insights, you know, maybe even suggest actions that you can take right. directly in your workflow. So it's all about making you more efficient, more productive. Okay, so Copilot, that's that sounds pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. I like that a lot. But again, just like with Prompt Builder, okay. you know, it's great to have these tools, but you need to know when to use them. When to use them. And when maybe a different approach might be better. Don't just use it for everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we've got Einstein Trust Layer. We've got Generative AI for CRM. We've got Prompt Builder. Yes. We've got Copilot. What else? Give me more. Give me more. All right, so for those who really want to, you know, take it to the next level, there's Model Builder. Okay, Model Builder. Now, this sounds a little more... I don't know. Yeah, it's getting a little more advanced here. A little more advanced. But it's cool. It's Good cool. Job. So Model Builder, it's basically like, you know, bringing your own secret sauce to the party. Okay. So this is where you can incorporate your own large language models or LLMs into Salesforce. So this is very specific if you have very specific needs. Exactly. This is for those, you know, edge cases where, you know, maybe you're in an industry or you have a use case where you need AI that's you know, just for you. Gotcha. That's where Model Builder comes in. So it's really about, like, customization. Absolutely. It really shows that, you know, Salesforce is thinking ahead. Yeah, they're thinking about the future. 
even if you're not, you know, building your own LLMs, which most people probably won't. Right. Understanding how this works is still really valuable. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. So we've got, we've covered a lot here. Trust layer, generative AI for CRM, prompt builder, co-pilot, model builder. That's a lot. It's a lot. Salesforce is not messing around. They're not messing around. They're setting the bar high. They're setting the bar high for sure. Which honestly is a good thing because it means that this credential, it actually means something. It holds weight. It holds weight. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It shows that you're not just, you know, AI curious, you're AI capable. AI capable. I like that. That's a good one. I like that. Right. So someone's listening to this and they're like, okay, you convinced me. I'm ready to dive in. Where do I even start? Yeah. Because we just threw a lot of information at him. We talked about some really cool tools. Yeah. But where do you even begin? What are your recommendations? It can feel overwhelming, right? You're like yeah. stepping into a whole new universe, this whole world of Salesforce AI. 100%. It's a lot to take in. But the good news is Salesforce has got our backs. They've actually given us some pretty amazing resources to help us along the way. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're not just throwing you to the wolves here. No, they want you to succeed, right? Absolutely. And, you know, one of the best things, and this is something I always rave about, mm. is Trailhead. Oh, Trailhead's amazing. I love Trailhead. It's free. Free is always good. Free is always good, especially when you're talking about, you know, often very expensive certifications. Exactly. But it's not just free. It's actually, like, fun. It's gamified. Yeah, it makes learning enjoyable. It is gamified. I love earning those badges. It's so silly. But it keeps me motivated. It works. It works. It totally works. And they have amazing trails and modules like specifically designed to get you up to speed on salesforce ai yeah and they're really well structured like they take you step by step they do they do so for you know if you want like a good overview of einstein okay there's a trail called drive productivity with einstein ai okay that's a good starting point yeah it's a great starting point and then if you're like okay i'm ready for the credential they have a module called salesforce ai specialist certification prep they're not even hiding it are they no, they're like, here's the secret sauce. Go for it. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. That's so it. we've got Trailhead, which is amazing. But some people, they need a little more structure. Of course. Yeah. They need a classroom setting. Maybe they need a live instructor. Absolutely. For those people, there's actually an instructor-led course, too. There is. Yeah. It's called Build Salesforce AI Solutions. Oh, Okay. And, you know, it's really great because you can interact with the instructor. You can ask questions. You get that real-time guidance. Exactly. And sometimes you just, you need that. Sometimes you just need a human. Sometimes you just need to ask a question and get an answer right away. Right, exactly. Instead of, like, you know, searching through Trailhead for hours. Totally, totally, yeah. And one thing I think is worth mentioning, Salesforce also recommends that, you know, you get some hands-on experience with these AI tools before you take the exam. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because reading about it is one thing. Yeah, you can't just read the manual. But you gotta actually like get your hands dirty. Yeah, exactly. Right? You gotta play around with prompt builder, you gotta experiment with co-pilot. Exactly, it's like you wouldn't try to fly a plane just by reading the manual. Right, right exactly. <laughs> You'd wanna you know, get in a simulator, get some practice. Get some real world experience. Exactly. Love that, love that analogy. So for anyone listening who's now feeling super pumped ready to add Salesforce AI specialist to their LinkedIn profile. To their resume. We've given you the tools. We've given you the roadmap. I've given you the knowledge. Absolutely. It's up to you now. Go forth and conquer. Go forth and become AI masters of the Salesforce universe. That's right. That's right.